Hello, friends, welcome to Voice Guru YouTube channel. Today we are going to look, how to add a new phone to, Cisco Call Manager. First you have to click the Cisco Unified Communication Manager link and, log in to the Call Manager. Once you log in, you can have this window and please see the menu list in top of the page. And please navigate to Device Menu. From the device menu drop down list, please select the phone option. Once you click the phone option, you will navigate to this window. So, we are going to add new phone. You can press the add new button. After pressing the add new button, you will redirect to this page. From the phone type option, you can select the phone model which you wish to add. If you don't know the phone model, you can see it backside of the physical phone. In this example, I'm going to add the Cisco 7811 phone. You can select and add the phone type which you have. Select your phone type, or phone model from the drop down list. As I mentioned earlier, in this case, I'm going to add Cisco 7811 phone model. I'm going to select that model. Once you select the model, you can click the next button and proceed. After that you will navigate to the phone configuration page. From this page you can configure your IP phone settings. First you have to add the MAC address of the phone. If you don't know the MAC address of the phone, you can have it from the phone box or back side of the phone. I have put the example MAC address. Then you can add the description as you want. In this video I'm going to use description as first phone. By default description take MAC address and add the SEP word before the MAC address. You can remove it and add the description which you need. Then you have to select the device pool. This is mandatory field. You can select the device pool from the drop down list. In this example, I'm going to select DPRAJ as my device pool of the phone. Then you have to select the phone button template. This is also mandatory field. You can select the proper phone button template from the drop down list. Please note you can have customized phone button templates also. After selecting the phone button template, you have to select the soft key template. In this example I'm going to select standard user template. This is not mandatory and this also can customize. Select standard user. If you have, media resource group list, you can select it, from this option. Also you can select the user media on hold music and, network on hold music from the drop down list. This option for the network on hold music. You can select the location, from this setting. This is also mandatory and predefined option. I am selecting Phantom as my location. If you do not wish to bind end user to the hard phone, you can select the anonymous radio button. If you are adding end user to the hard phone please select user option, and select the particular user from the find option. From this option you can select the, device security profile. This is mandatory field when you are registering an IP phone to the Cisco call manager. 
please select device profile as Cisco 7811 standard SIP non-secure profile from the drop-down list. Also you need to select the SIP profile. If you are registering the SCCP phone, such as 7911, 7941, 7942 this option is not available. This option only available for SIP phones. This example I'm using SIP phone and, I'm selecting standard SIP profile, as my SIP profile. Once done all the mandatory configurations correctly, you can press the save button to save the phone configurations. When you click the save button, browser pop-up also prompt, you can press the OK button to proceed. Now we have to add the phone number, which means extension number or directory number. To add this please select the line, add a new DN link, on top of the phone configuration page. You can add your directory number, on this text box. This is mandatory and without directory number you cannot take calls. I'm going to use my directory number, 65353. Please type your directory number on the text box. Once add the DN, you have to click out of the text box. Then you can see the below informational message on top of the page. Now you have to select the root partition. You can select the predefined root partition from the drop down list. In this example, I'm selecting everyone root partition, as my root partition. Again you have to click the out of the box, which means free space of the page. Then you can see page will automatically load. Now you have to put the description on the description text box. You can put any description as you need. I'm putting first phone as my description. Alerting name also I'm putting as same as description. ASCII alerting name also same as alerting name. You can put any name. Now we have to select the calling search space. This is also mandatory and predefined field. In my next videos I'll show you how to create calling search space and root partition. In this example I'm selecting CCSVIP as my calling search space. Display, caller ID. Feel it also same as description. In this also I'm putting my same description. Type first underscore phone. Also put the same on ASCII display text box. Line text label field also same as ASCII display name. Type first phone. Please tick the checkboxes named as caller name and dialed number. Once all done, you can press the save button to save all the configurations. After pressing the save button, go to the top of the page and select the go button to back to the phone configuration page.
Now we have done the all required configurations to register the Cisco IP phone in the Cisco Call Manager. Under the Register Device Status menu box, there is a bold option called Registration. Currently that is in unknown state and after few seconds it will change to the registered status. In my example no actual phone and it is not showing that state. Also it will take IPv4 address on your setup if all the network configurations are correct. Hello friends, we are done with configurations and I hope this will help you to get the basic idea of Cisco IP phone registration with the Cisco call manager. This is my first video and I hope to bring more videos like this. It may help for you to have better understand of Cisco call manager. Thanks for watching. Please comment, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you.